Today we are going to talk about black trim restoration. I'm going to be talking about three different products today. So behind me and now in front of me I have an Airstream. So what we have here is Solution Finish. Big fan. What we have here in this unmarked bottle is black wow big fan and then we have armor all everyone is familiar with armor all very likely not a huge fan let's just say that so i'm going to demonstrate on a couple things for example this airstream this material and this decal for lack of a better word is like a rubberized vinyl type of raised emblem decal it's not rigid, it's not hard, it's not made out of plastic, it's not made out of metal. It's like a rubberized material, but it does weather. And by weather, I mean that it degrades. This material, like anything else, when it's exposed to the weather and the elements of outdoors and just over time will degrade. So there's some various points. Like for example, look at on this emblem, same type of material, but this is so bad that and also because these emblems are smaller that the wax is still left in the seams. So this can all be cleaned out, which I wanna show you the before and after, has weathered less than the first example because it is exposed to the sun less. Then down here, you can see more examples where we have some staining of traditional wax products. Then up here we have a VW Toreg, and it's got a fair amount of black trim on it. Now this side over here, I've already pre-cleaned. How do you clean the surfa surface? Well, it's pretty simple. You use rubbing alcohol. So here we have, and this is in the shade, hopefully it's picking up. We've got some wax staining on this trim piece. This side I have not pre-cleaned yet. And so I wanna show you this. There's all kinds of gunk underneath it that needs to be cleaned. Now this is not all due to staining from wax, just this white stuff right in here that's from wax the rest of this is road grime and that comes in endless types of material so this will have to all be clean before i apply the trim restoration product and here's my rubbing alcohol i use this in two formulations you can use it straight and i get this specifically at Costco. 70% comes in different formulations. Don't overthink that. They have like 70, 80, and 90%. Now you can mix this with straight water. I mix it with distilled water. 50-50 solution. So half of this, half of the water. That's what I use to do general cleaning with when it comes to situations that it's appropriate to use rubbing alcohol. Now in this case, because this staining is so extensive, let me show you another area. Right here around this lens is some excessive staining from wax. So I will have to use like a little scrub brush. And you can use something as simple as a toothbrush and then straight rubbing alcohol. Now some plastics or rubberized materials like this stuff, the alcohol will start to break it down. And what happens is it kind of turns into a gooey type of feel to it. Now this is a case by case and you're going to have to use your judgment call. I could use that product straight over this and it would still produce good results, but I want better results. So I'm going to clean this up with straight alcohol. I'm going to break and I'm going to show you the actual process so you can kind of uh, if you are an Airstream owner and you want to take this project on yourself, you'll kind of know what you're getting it yourself into. Okay, so I'm going to address this area first. Now just so you know, the AIR I have already cleaned and treated with the Solution Finish. So here we have Solution Finish, here we have the Black Wow. Now to paint on who you ask, Solution Finish claims that at a molecular level, this is a true trim restore. So this would be more of a superficial trim restore. And by the way, I'm a big fan of both. And you can actually use both of them together. You would use this one first because it's going to literally soak into and truly restore the black trim. But if you want a more shiny, glossier look, you can actually go back over it with Black Wow. Now, if you're already a fan of one or the other, then go with it. They both really are great products. They both do hold up in the weather very well but personally I accept the fact that this actually can 
at a molecular level go and pass through the cell structure of plastics and black trim. So in this case I'll be using the solution finish. I take my rubbing alcohol and as I rub it, so if you rub this with straight rubbing alcohol, it will start to remove this layer this weathered layer that can literally be scraped off with your fingernail and see how black that is so it's removing that dead layer oxidation I'm cleaning off that layer of dead material so that it's now ready to receive the black trim restoration product that I've chosen, which is Solution Finish. Okay, I finished cleaning that dead layer off and if you noticed whilst I was cleaning, it left a bunch of residue. So what happens is that as I'm cleaning off that dead layer, what it does is it pulls some of that residue or it leaves a residue on the surrounding material. Now rubbing alcohol is not going to damage or hurt the clear coat. So this is where I take my mixture of alcohol and distilled water, 50-50 blend, and I just spray over it. And you can see that even when I use the alcohol on it, it still remains black, so it's pretty cool. Here we have Solution Finish. So Solution Finish is very unique in that if you did a side-by-side -side comparison, an orange type of gel, it's very greasy feeling. This is actually black, and you could call it a dye, although some people, for some reason, they hate that word. It's like, oh, you're just dyeing it. It's not gonna last because it's just like a superficial coating. It's like, well, guess what? When they dye fabrics, guess what? It soaks through and it becomes permanent. So I don't know why, and maybe you're not questioning this. Maybe you are. But even if you want to call it a dye, it doesn't really matter. Not in my world because really that's what I want to do is I want a, a, a solution that will actually penetrate the material and become permanent. I would say we have very good satisfaction here. So that's pretty straightforward. Clean the surface, apply the product. Bigger question is, is which product are you going to choose? Armor All. Yeah, it's an okay product for retail consumer solution finish. This guy is a true expert when it comes to black trim, and that's all he deals in. This guy, his name's Richard Lynn. He's a professional detailer. He has a shop uh, just a couple miles away from my home. Great guy. His father is a chemist, I think, in the cosmetics industry, and he came up with this formulation. This stuff... It comes in this little bottle and you think, wow, how cheap. You know, that's all I get. This stuff seriously will amaze you. It will go so far. And so it's kind of a misrepresentation or maybe unfair because I've got this big, huge bottle and I think, oh, I get more for my money. It's kind of like that Costco mentality. Well, we always want more and more is always better, right? Well, this stuff is amazing. I, a little bit seriously goes so far. I was truly in shock the first time I used it. Okay, finished product time. Got our Airstream looking sweet. Got this area looking sweet. More sweetness. Down below we've got the black trim under here all decked out. Good to go. We've got our Toreg. You know I mean it's just got extensive use of this black trim all around the perimeter and then when you go in the front it's even worse because you've got all up underneath here now I did not deal with all in here I would need a sprayer to actually really get that so this is where you kind of have to make a judgment call probably most guys most customers are not going to get on their hands and knees and take a look at this but it does happen Anyhow, so only you can decide as a detailer or as a car owner how meticulous you want to get.
but I got very meticulously around these areas because these are visible. Uh, here we are on the other side, looking all nice and black, and um, it does it doesn't feel greasy to the touch. It's not messy, gooey, greasy. It's just a nice. It really restores it to original condition is what it does. So this is why I'm a fan of the um, solution finish. There is a, a sheen to it and depending upon which way the lighting shows up. But if this rolled off the dealer lot in this lighting, this would have a natural uh, shine or sheen to it anyways. So it just looks like healthy, brand new black plastic trim. Okay, till next time folks. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up 